Hello, Super Kids, and welcome to Super Saturday. I am super excited that you are here with us today. Today, you're going to hear a Bible story, jokes with Jada, and see other Super Kids just like you. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, guys. Welcome to Jokes with Jada. <laughs> What did the pickle say to the other pickle when it fell out the jar? Deal with it. Or pick a boo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. See you next time. Hello everyone. Today's story is taken from the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 6 verses 1 through 20. But before I begin, I have a question for you. Have you ever been told to do something strange to get something good? For example, it's been said that an onion soothes insect bites and bee stings. An onion now let's begin the story. In the very first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, God promised Abraham and his family or descendants that he would give them a land filled with good things, flowing with milk and honey. That land was called Canaan. And one part of that land was the city of Jericho. God told Joshua that the children of Israel would take the city of Jericho. Now the city of Jericho was protected by a thick stone wall. How could Joshua and the children of Israel get through the wall? The wall was thick and tall and guarded by soldiers. Well, God gave Joshua some specific instructions on what to do. God told Joshua to march around the city of Jericho. Seven priests will carry seven rams home as they march in front of the Ark of the Covenant. Joshua was to march around the city of Jericho one time for six days. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times. Then have the priests blow a loud blast on the rams horn. When they do, have everyone shout as loud as they can, and the wall of the city will fall. What? That sure is a strange way to take the city. And what is a ram's horn? And what is the Ark of the Covenant? Well, a ram's horn is used to blow into, and it made a unique sound. It was used to sound an alarm for war and other important events for the Israelites. The Ark of the Covenant was a chest covered in pure gold. Inside the Ark were the tablets of the Ten Commandments and other sacred items. And it could only be carried by the priest. So Joshua gave the instructions to the Israelites. Day one, they marched around the city one time. They may have thought it was strange, but they did what God told them to do. Day two, they marched around the city one time. They continued marching for six days. On the seventh day, they marched around the city seven times. And on that seventh time, Joshua said, shout for the Lord has given you the city. And when the Israelites began to shout, the wall came tumbling down. The Bible states that the wall fell down flat. Hmm, look at God. Now the Israelites were able to take the city of Jericho. So always remember to follow God's instructions, no matter how strange they may seem. The end. 
Wasn't that an amazing story? Yes, it was. It was. To hear the story of how Joshua and the children of Israel marched around the city of Jericho, how many days? Seven. Seven days. For the first six days, how many times did they march around the wall? One. One time. But on the seventh day, God told them to march around the wall how many days? I mean, how many times? One. Seven. No, on seven. seven times. And what were they to do when they marched around the wall? They were to do what? Shout. Shout. As loud as they could. That's right. And when yeah. they did that, what happened? It fell flat. The wall fell flat. Like so, you know, there's something mighty special about following instructions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. God expects us to follow his instructions, too, which are found where? In the Bible. In the Bible. Yes, That's right. in the Bible. That's right. And then you, children, you, super kids, you're expected to follow instructions, too. And not always the instructions by reading the Bible, but somebody else gives you instructions who is that? Jesus. Your moms and dads. And like God. <laughs> like God. Following instructions, is that something important that we should all do? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. So, we are to follow instructions. So, I want to show you something. You want to see it? Mm -hmm. I made something. If you want to see it, it's behind my back. So, can you do this? Can you make this? Madison and Josiah, do you think you can make that? All by yourself? Yes. Super kids, do you think that you can do it? Well, I'm going to give you a chance to do it. All right, are you ready? Let's do it. Where's your paper? Where are your scissors? Go get them! <laughs> okay. They have their paper. Do you have your paper? Yeah. All right, you probably need a, maybe a thicker piece of paper, maybe not just a writing paper. And we have scissors. And you have scissors. Be very careful with your scissors. Are we to play with scissors? No. Are we supposed to cut our hair with our scissors? No. No, okay, Ooh. don't do that. Okay, so this, I'm gonna show you how you can do it. It's so super easy, but you know what? You said that you could do it, so. Do it. They don't know how to do it. They need what? Instructions. So if you follow the instructions, then you'll be able to do this as well. The first thing you have to do is get your paper. So you've all gotten your paper, all right? The first thing you wanna do, it's very simple, very simple. You're gonna take your scissors, and just about, and not in the middle, don't go to the middle, but over to the side a little bit. Listen to the instructions first. If you don't listen, and you're gonna make a mistake. Okay, so right about in the middle, let's see if we can see it. Gonna cut all the way to the middle. It's very important that you go to the middle, and then you stop. Keep going. Just a little bit more. Good, good. All right, now they've got one side. Now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Cut just about to the middle and then stop. Okay, so we've got how many, how many cuts do we have? One and two. We've got two cuts. Turn it over like that. Turn it over. Flip it over so that your cuts are on the top. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is cut up one more time right in the middle. And guess, make sure you go all the way to the middle and then you stop at the middle. Now here's the cool part. How are we gonna get this to look like that? Well, Hold your paper up like this. You see your cut, you see you see that? You see how I'm doing that? But you're gonna take it, and all you're gonna do is fold one side like that. So look, you take it, and you fold one side like that. Lay it down, just like that. You're gonna lay it down, and then you're gonna kinda straighten out the middle. 
make a little crease. Hold on just a second. And then it's gonna stand up on its own. And there you have it. You got it. It's like a crab. Gotta turn it around. It's like a crab. All right, so when you follow the instructions, you can do amazing things. Philippians 4 and 13 says what? I, I can, can do, do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and so can you. God will give you his superpower to follow instructions. See you later. Bye.